Hi, friends. You know, sometimes I introduce whistles to us, and I know a lot of other folks uh, give reviews on whistles as well. And my goal in doing that, I just want to speak to this for a minute, is that I want you to hear and to understand some of the sound qualities in a whistle. Um, every one of us chooses whistles for different reasons. You might want one that's got that little bit of traditional edge to it. It's almost a little chirpy. Or you might want one that's breathy. Or you might want one that's loud or soft or, or one that's mellow or one that's clear in tone. Um, you might not care about the top notes of the second octave. Uh, and Or you might care about them. Everybody's so different with what they want in a whistle. And that's why I kind of shy away from saying, this is a great whistle, this isn't a great whistle. I, I try and describe what the whistle's like for us. For example, I did that, in some ways, silly comparison between the MK Pro and the Carry Low D. I mean, you're talking over $200 difference in price between them. Um, an entry-level whistle and a professional whistle. And clearly, uh, the microphone doesn't pick up all the distinctions. Um, but many people aren't going to care about that difference. And there's no reason that you have to care. There are some people that love the first whistle they ever bought, and they don't ever want to upgrade. That's fine. But I feel like our job, my task, is, is to introduce different options. I've got two more reviews coming that I know are, are coming. Um, one is the Whistlesmith, uh, low D, and another is the um, Goldfinch. Uh, so I'm excited to introduce both of those to us. And I'm not introducing these because I want to build my collection of whistles. It's important to get the distinctions uh, for these. I know when I upgraded to my first really, really nice tenor saxophone, I sat down in a room, they brought me a bunch of instruments, uh, one of the musicians came and sat with me, and I played them. It was like, oh, I like the tone of this one. I, I, this one's too soft. Uh, this one's too bitey, brassy. I, I want more depth of tone. I want some volume. Um, and I had a good time doing that. And uh, my music teacher at the time wasn't excited about my, my selection, but my music teacher wanted me to join, wanted me to go down the symphony orchestra path. And I wanted to go down the learning jazz path. And so I chose a whistle for, I'm sorry, a saxophone for that. What whistle do you want? That's sort of what this conversation and so many other conversations are about. You want a whistle that when you walk by it, it calls out to you, pick me up and play. You don't want a whistle. You don't want to pay good money for a whistle that is not calling out to you, pick me up and play. So uh, that's why I love introducing whistles. I want all of us to own a whistle I don't care if it's a whistle I don't even like that much. It's a whistle you like. And it's a whistle that calls out to you, pick me up and play. And so, uh, that's why I do the introductions to whistles. I don't even like to call them reviews. Because it's not my opinion that matters, it's yours. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy low D whistling, my friends.